In the last video, we talked about literals, which are items in a program whose values don't change. If you think about the number 5, or 9.0, or a string literal, or a character, or uh, the Boolean value true or false, uh, those don't change. But now we turn our attention to variables, which are basically the opposite. They're, uh, they're items whose values can and most often do change when we're running a program. Uh, you can really think of a variable as a little whiteboard that lives somewhere in the computer's memory, and when we decide we want to change that variable's value, we're essentially crossing out or erasing what's on that whiteboard and writing something new. Now, this is important. A variable's value in Java can change, but its data type can't. So if you look back, that means that this variable that we have, Fahrenheit, which is a double, we can change the actual value that's stored in that double, but we can't change the fact that Fahrenheit is a double. That means Java is statically typed. Okay, and that means before the first time we use a variable, we have to actually declare what type it's going to be. So here you can see we have a couple of declarations of the types of certain variables. So you can see we have a variable called age that's going to be an int. We're saying we need a variable called Celsius that's going to be a double. We need a variable that's going to point to a string, and we're going to call that name. And we want to have a scanner variable that's going to point to a scanner object, and we want to call that variable reader. So we're often going to be talking about a variable's type, and the way we sort of pronounce that is we will say you know, Celsius is a double. A couple of shorthand things. You can declare a bunch of variables at the same time. Uh, here we declare uh, several ints, several doubles, a uh, string, but we can also initialize values at this time. So in this little code snippet, the variables z, q, pi, name, and reader end up initialized. They get the values 7, 1.41, 3.14, Bill Jones, and the new scanner object that we instantiated. So we've given them starting values x, y, p. These don't get starting values, neither does t. They're still null until we initialize them later in the program. That last statement deserves another look. Uh, we've seen it before. We're declaring an object variable called a reader. So this reader is actually an object variable, and we're also instantiating a new scanner object uh, that takes as its input the, uh, the keyboard input stream, that's system.in. Um, so again, we've seen this picture before, but you can think about this as a variable called a reader that's pointing to an object of type scanner. So I like to imagine this as a big scanner object with a little tag that's pointing to it almost, and that tag is called reader. So again, we've seen instantiation before, but really, uh, it's we just want to hit home, it's of this form. The keyword new, whatever the name of the class that we're instantiating an object of, and then inside the parentheses, however many parameters that uh, constructor, that, that method, we'll discuss more what that means uh, later, how many parameters it takes. Now, one other topic for the day, uh, this will be real quick. Uh, this is a special keyword that we can use when we declare some variables. It's called the, the final keyword. And essentially it allows us to make constants. We would use this when we have a variable that we want to declare and initialize, but we're never going to want to change its value ever. So there's never going to be more than 12 inches in a foot. There's never going to be a different value for pi other than 3.14. We're never going to need to change a, a variable called pi during the course of a regular program. This is and, and, and the point of giving it the final keyword is, number one, to signal to anybody reading your code, hey, this is never going to change. And second, to have the compiler throw an error, to have it yell at you if you actually do try to change the, the value of that variable at some point during the running of your program. So a couple things before you close up shop. Uh, you you want to make sure uh, you know what can we change about a variable and what can't we change. What does it mean to declare and initialize a variable? Uh, what comes first, declaring or initializing a variable? Uh, can you do it in one step? And what are final variables or constants? Uh, what's a reasonable example of a constant you might want to use at some point in a program? A good place to think about this is, is, is you know, think back to math class. What are some constants you've used there? Um, if you can come up with some other creative examples, that'd be great. Uh, but make sure you're, you have some ideas about, you know, where you might use a constant.